13 social skills you simply must develop. Have you ever wondered why some people always seem to find it easy to make friends and get all the attention and respect from others, while others always seem to be left out in the cold? The answer is simple, social skills. Social skills are a huge component of our lives. We use them every day, whether we're interacting with others in person or on the internet. They're essential for building relationships, networking, and finding jobs. No matter what your profession or goal in life is, having great social skills is essential to success. Good social skills can help you in any situation, from making friends, to networking, to getting ahead at work. In this video, we will discuss 13 of the most important social skills that you need to develop if you want to reach your full potential. So make sure to watch this video with undivided attention and start paving the way for a successful future. What does social skills even mean? To make everything easy to understand, let's start with the definition of social skills. Social skills are the skills we use every day to interact and communicate with others. They include verbal and nonverbal communication such as speech, gestures, facial expressions, personality traits, and body language. Some people seem to be born with great social skills while others have to work a little harder to develop them. But the good news is that social skills can be learned and developed over time with practice. With that said, here are the best social skills you simply must develop if you want to be successful in any area of your life. Number 1. Verbal Communication One of the most important social skills you need to develop is excellent verbal communication. This refers to how well you can communicate your thoughts and ideas using spoken words. Some people are born with the gift of gab and can easily articulate their thoughts and feelings. Others have to work a little harder at it. But whether you're a natural or not, developing excellent verbal communication skills is essential to success. If you have trouble communicating your thoughts and feelings, here's a quick tip that will help you. Slow down and think about what you want to say before you say it. Take the time to organize your thoughts so that you can articulate them in a clear and concise way. Number 2. Respecting Boundaries For some people, this might come naturally, but for others, it might take a little bit of practice. Respecting boundaries is all about understanding and accepting that everyone is different and has different views and opinions. According to psychologist John Gottman, there are four main ways to respect boundaries. The first is by listening. This means really hearing what the other person has to say and trying to understand their point of view. The second way to respect boundaries is by giving people space and privacy when they need it. This might mean not asking personal questions or invading someone's personal space. The third way to respect boundaries is by not making assumptions. This means not assuming that you know what someone is thinking or feeling without asking them first. And the fourth and final way to respect boundaries is by being assertive. This means being able to express your own needs and wants in a clear and respectful way. Number 3. Positive Body Language Did you know that your body language can say a lot about you? In fact, research has shown that body language accounts for 70 to 90% of all communication. That means that the way you carry yourself, the expressions on your face, and your overall body language can say a lot about you, even if you don't say a word. When you show positive body language, you come across as confident, friendly, and open. On the other hand, if your body language is negative, you come across as insecure, uninterested, and closed off. Positive body language includes things like making eye contact, smiling, and having an open body posture. If you want us to make a dedicated video about positive body language, let us know in the comments below. Number 4. Active Listening Active listening is a social skill that is often overlooked, but it's actually very important. Having the ability to listen attentively and understand what others are saying is a key part of effective communication. When you're actively listening, you're not just hearing the words that someone is saying, you're also trying to understand the meaning behind them. This means paying attention, making eye contact, and using body language that shows you're engaged in the conversation. You might also want to ask questions and provide feedback to show that you're actively listening and trying to understand what the other person is saying. Number 5. Accepting Other Opinions Even when you don't agree with someone, it's important to be able to accept their opinion. This doesn't mean that you have to agree with them, but it does mean that you should respect their right to have a different opinion than you do. 
There will be times when you come across someone who has a completely different opinion than you on a certain topic. When this happens, it's important to stay calm and open-minded. Try to see things from their perspective and understand where they're coming from. If you can do this, you'll not only be showing respect to the other person, but you might also learn something new. Number 6. Empathy. Ask yourself this question, do you know how to put yourself in someone else's shoes? If not, don't worry. Empathy is a skill that can be learned. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. It's about being able to see things from their perspective and share in their emotional experience. When you have empathy for someone, you're able to feel compassion for them, and this can help to foster a stronger connection. Number 7. Patience. Do you find yourself getting impatient with people often? If so, you're not alone. In today's fast-paced world, patience is a virtue that is often in short supply. But if you want to be a likable person, it's important to learn how to be patient. Patience is the ability to tolerate delays, frustration, and annoyances without getting angry or upset. It's about being able to control your emotions and reactions in situations where you might otherwise feel impatient. Some things that you can do to develop patience include deep breathing, counting to 10, and thinking about positive outcomes. Again, if you want us to make dedicated videos on any of these topics, let us know in the comments below. Number 8. Dealing with Rejection No matter how outgoing or confident you are, there will be times when you experience rejection. It's an unfortunate part of life that we all have to deal with at some point. Rejection can be painful, but it's important to remember that it's not personal. Just because someone doesn't want to accept your offers doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. See rejection as a learning opportunity and use it to improve your social skills. Each time you experience rejection, you'll become more resilient and better equipped to deal with it in the future. Number 9. Respect and Appreciation Many people say that respect is something that has to be earned. While this may be true to some extent, it's also important to remember that respect is a two-way street. In order to earn the respect of others, you have to be willing to give it first. Showing respect for others is a key part of being likable. It's about treating others with kindness, courtesy, and consideration. When you show respect for someone, you're acknowledging their worth as a human being. You're also sending the message that you consider them valuable and important. The same is true for appreciation. When you show appreciation for someone, you're conveying that you value them and their contributions. This is a key part of building strong relationships with others. Number 10. Persuasion. This skill is very important if you want to be successful in any area of life. Persuasion is the ability to convince others to see things your way or to take action on your behalf. It's a skill that can be used in many different situations, from asking your boss for a raise to convincing your friends to go out with you on a Saturday night. Some key persuasion skills include being able to articulate your point of view, using logic and reason, and being able to appeal to the other person's emotions. Number 11. A sense of humor. When you always take things too seriously, you come across as being uptight and unapproachable. But if you can learn to loosen up and laugh at yourself, you'll be much more likable. A sense of humor is the ability to see the funny side of things. This does not mean that you have to be a class clown or tell jokes all the time. But it does mean that you should be able to tell when something is funny and enjoy a good laugh. A sense of humor can also be used as a tool to diffuse tense situations, build rapport with others, and make people feel more comfortable around you. Number 12. Confidence. This is probably the most important social skill of all. Confidence is your belief in yourself and your abilities. It's about feeling sure of yourself and your place in the world. Confident people are not only more likable, they're also more successful. That's because confidence is contagious. When you're confident, you give off an air of success and people are drawn to that. Number 13. Leadership. The ability to lead is another social skill that will take you far in life. Leaders are not only respected, they're also followed. People are naturally drawn to those who have the ability to take charge and get things done. Leadership is about more than just giving orders. It's about inspiring others, motivating them, and helping them see the potential in themselves. If you want to be a leader, you have to be willing to take risks, step out of your comfort zone, and provide others with direction. Conclusion 
Developing social skills is important for anyone looking to build relationships and connections with others. While some people may find it easy to develop social skills, others may find it more challenging. No matter where you are on the spectrum, there are always ways to improve your social skills and become a better version of yourself. If you have made it this far, we really appreciate your support. Comment down below with the word, 100%, so we know that you watched the entire video. To learn more, check out our other videos that you see on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.